Okay, we are back for a new series. We're going to do an English campaign on expert mode. I just looked at the Aragon series I had, which was now four years ago, four long years. Uh, and it was posted, I did that series right before COVID break, uh, broke out. Right when the world was sort of normal, right? Now everything's upside down and uh, we got everything backwards, it seems. Um, everything's gone to, uh, no, I don't want to say to hell, but things are certainly different four years later. Um, it's amazing how, uh, you know, plague uh, can change things. And certainly that was the case in the medieval times as well. But uh, yeah, four years ago, that that's uh, right before COVID. And so uh, lately I'm getting kind of sick of the new game. So when you get sick of the new you like to go to the old and there's no game uh, I like better than this. This is one of my all time, you know, favorite, favorite games. And uh, yeah, so that's what we, we always like to go back to older times. Uh, the ancient Greeks, they always wanted to go back and live in the Bronze Age because they, they hated the uh, time period they lived in. So that's what we're kind of doing here. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look at the situation. And the situation with the English is uh, never my favorite because you've got your forces and your territory sort of divided here. And France is just, they're just a pain because they're sitting there and uh, they're just in the way. So, but we do have to stay friends with them at least for a while. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Um, so first thing is uh, let's, let's get, let's immediately get some revenue going, some watchtowers. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to queue a bunch of stuff up here so we don't have to keep coming back. Um, Let's even get a keep here. Let's get some revenue, a keep, revenue. Oh, you know what? Actually, I want to immediately get the spear maker. That's the only difference I'm going to make. Um, only change I'm going to make. I do want to get a spear maker going. Uh, here, we're going to concentrate mainly on revenue, watchtower. So we got stuff queued up. That's good. And then what we need to do is tax the hell out of everybody, which we love doing. We're the king. Screw them. We don't care. Um, we do have to worry about rebellions, though, but it's pretty minimal. They've got some. Yeah, I mean, loyalty is good enough, but uh, yeah, we got some heretics there. Oh, well. All right, so let's get, uh, let's also sign out the governor's ships. Uh, let's get this guy loyal. And let's see what happens if we move this archer unit. Yeah, let's let's get this archer unit, unit down with the king's army. That's what we want. Um, we got another archer unit here. So let's, let's combine these two forces. Sorry, let's get, okay. Now let's, let's see what, what's this guy's loyalty? This is always the problem early on is loyalty. Uh, especially the king, you know, people just don't like the king early on. But uh, let's let's hand out some stuff. Hey, you know what? We'll leave these unassigned for now. So we got some princesses, and they are should be pretty young, seventeen. Okay, we don't want them to become old maids. So we'll worry about them later. Okay, so here we've got some forces. I'm going to move these guys further down south, and we're going to go ahead and assign him. The governorship. Oh, that was good. We got a one-star general. And you know what? We may... Ch I'm going to change my mind up here. Let's move this guy. Let's assign a governor to him. Put him up here. Or actually, you know what? We'll keep him here. We're going to keep these guys here for now. I'm going to bring the one-star down here because Aragon, they're always a problem early on. They always like to attack. So I'm not going to waste any time. Actually, you know what? I just changed my mind completely. We're going to get a spear maker going down here. So we got the taxes up, that's fine. Um, raise taxes, raise taxes, good. All right, so everybody's gonna be paying their fair share because after all, we're the ones supporting the empire. You're part of the empire, you're our loyal subjects. You're not citizens, you're subjects. Okay, you have a significant number. Yeah, I figured we were gonna get that message early on. Um, let's get this loyal guy down here. Let's create some more peasants just because we can. And I think things are looking good early. Again, Aragon's always a problem. Look, they start out with a pretty decently sized army. Well, of course, that's their only. I do want to see if I can capture Navarre. So that's going to be the first sort of target is Navarre. That's what we want to capture first things first uh, and hopefully keep the French 
and the Holy Roman Empire and the Spanish at bay. Okay, so uh, what do we got over here? I don't know yet. Uh, we've got... Let's go see if we can make a peace treaty with the French. I want to keep everybody happy early on. Keep everybody liking us. We're going to be like uh, Philip of Macedon, where he uh, he basically had this great game he played where he, he got everybody loyal, uh, made alliances, and then broke them once he got powerful enough. So we're going to do the old Philip of Macedon trick. Yeah. You're, we're, we'll be friends with you for a while until we don't want to be friends, and then we're going to attack you. So. All right. Uh, so the loyalty is pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, what are we doing? We've got the King's Province here, and we're not even uh, in Wessex. Good old Wessex. Love watching The Last Kingdom, where that's the last province. That's the last one. The Vikings have surrounded us. And Alfred, you know, he you know, he was... Is this actually Alfred? I don't even know who they start out. You start with King William. Okay, okay. So Alfred... Oh, you know what? He was before this, but... Um, of course, Alfred... What, Alfred's the greatest... One of the greatest kings in English history. He... Unified the country against those Vikings. Okay, he might even be in the. Vi I haven't looked. He might even be in the Viking invasion pack. We'll do some. Uh, we'll do some Viking stuff too. That those. That's a fun one. Okay. Um, let's see. So we've got. We've got. All right. So we need to get that spear maker. Let's concentrate on that. Then we'll start to worry about watchtowers revenue later on. But I definitely want to take a swing at uh, these guys down here early on. That's a good one to capture before the Spanish get it. Trying to beat the Spanish to the punch. These ones I'm not so worried about because nobody can really get to them, at least early on. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, of course, of course, the Holy Roman Empire. They're always the strongest early on. And they were a, uh, you know, I think they had their own pope at one point. They, uh, they were definitely a major threat in the Middle Ages. Constantly causing problems for the, the pope down in Italy. Yeah, it was a problem in this game, too. You wipe him out, he somehow re magically reappears. Yeah. Um, so we'll deal with that much, much later on, of course, if we're still around, which is, you know, you I've actually uh, lost this game many times. All right, so things are looking good. We've got buildings going. Okay, so here, let's keep the revenue going. We'll build a keep. I also want to get a keep going here. Let's just get that all queued up. And uh, we don't, do we have the ability? I don't want to build a king's army quite yet. Quite yet. I, or should we just go like really quickly attack France? Because France can get out of control. This is a question. Do we want to get like really aggressive or do we want to be like somewhat aggressive? I say we stick with the somewhat aggressive philosophy for now. The problem is, if you let France go, though, they can, they can, they can become, uh, you're going to be in for a big fight, which I don't necessarily want. All right, well, let's let's start building our armies anyways. Uh, let's not waste any time here. You know what? We're going to, we're just going to start building them. Um, and maybe we will take a swing at France. Maybe we will take a swing. We, we got to get some keeps up first, though, because um, they could they could just walk right into our territory. But if we do that, we got to like want, you know what I think we're gonna do? We're gonna go after Aragon, then we're gonna target France. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we've got some cash. How much does it cost to? I'd like to bribe these. What happened with this? Does he? You're already allied. Okay, so let's see. Let's see how much would it cost to bribe these guys? Nope. It's not going to happen yet. Let's move the emissary over here for now. And at least we're friends with France. So let's maintain that alliance. And follow the original course of action. I wonder if, how much it would cost to bribe. Let's see this. Okay, let's, let's do that. And then let's also stop... Well, that he's gonna—it's gonna take a couple moves for him to get there. Let's just see if we have enough money by then. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna hold off. He's down here. Let's let's hold off building. Let's cancel the units and see. We're building. We gotta get some money. We're gonna need that money. So let's let's not build anything right now. Let's let's cancel everything, and. This is good. Okay, so 
Yeah, so I think I want I just want I don't want to have it I don't want to run out of money to bribe that that would be a good situation we go there and say oh sorry We don't have any money It was all just your bribe is accepted. Okay, good. I like that. I Like taking a place without a fight. That's always a good way to do it. Okay, uh, let's But the problem is now we're just really low on funds. And of course, everybody's building up so fast. It's expert mode after all. Um, so we at least we captured Navarre. That's a huge thing without a fight. But loyalty is a problem here. So let's send our loyal army down here. And let's give... Got some titles to hang out. Okay, let's, let's just keep this situation going. All right, so we got to build up this province quick. And we're going to do that. I'm going to actually just build a, a watchtower there immediately. Really kind of low on funds. Let's check the tr let's check the loyalty. Looks good. Projected incomes good. All right. So a reasonably good start. We captured Navarre before the Spanish got there, and maybe we can just take the Aragon really quickly. Alahads, okay. Emissary from the Holy... Yes. Yeah, we'll take that marriage proposal. So we've got two big allies early on. France and... I always liked that. We, and we didn't even have to send an emissary. So that's good. Um, um, okay, so... To raise taxes. Get the watchtower. Get revenue. Keep. Okay. In that order. Um... I'm gonna hold off on building the armies up here for a little bit. Uh, we do have some loyalty issues here. Let's get the loyal, and then we're gonna do we're gonna do some more. Uh, we're gonna marry off her to him. And how's our loyalty there? It's good. Okay, good stuff. Um, Did I not? Well, I don't know. Do we, how many princesses we got? Oh, we got, oh no, we got princess. What's she doing? She's doing nothing. Where's the other princess? I don't know. All right, let's end the let's end the the round here. I'm glad we captured Navarre early. That that's a huge one. Who's attacking us? Who who was that? I didn't even see. I, I should have probably paid attention to that. I just auto resolved it quick. Uh, was it? Was it? Was it Aragon? Or, oh, of course, of course it's Aragon. Okay, well, let's cancel. We're having a f we're having some fun problems right now. Let's build a watchtower. It's cheaper, and let's let's get. We got to start getting some units down here. That that's just really annoying. I don't want to lose. Let's. Oh. Well, anyways, just trying to see what we can build. Let's let's tally this up. So this is gonna cost a thousand florins. Can't they just say a thousand dollars? Let's just let's just have medieval times on dollars. Okay, that's gonna cost a thousand dollars. Let's cancel that. Let's cancel that. <laughs> I got to make sure that we're producing troops here. Let's we're gonna cancel production here for a little bit. Okay, because we, we, we're definitely going to need... Aragon just, like... I, I, it's almost like a given when you're England, they're going to attack you. It's always like... A, 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 see, here they come. Oh, no. I got to see if I can get a ceasefire. Let's, let's go over here. We're leaving Navarre completely unprotected. I can't let Aquitaine fall. Meanwhile, let's see if we can get... I don't want to strip him of his duties. Um, see if we can get a ceasefire. I mean, this is just... I had a feeling Aragon was going to do this, by the way. I had a feeling they were going to do this. All 
All right, well, we're going to have to wait a little bit to go back. They took Navarre. Gosh darn them. And they caused, like, all kinds of problems down here. Destroyed some things. And they lowered the taxes. I mean, really? Okay, well... Can we get a ceasefire? Let's propose one for now. We'll be friends for a while, but we're going to go back in there. That will not go unanswered. So we got some more cash. Let's just continue on with the builds. Can't forget that after all. We've got a little bit of a king's army up here. I'd like to get... We're just not going to have enough money, I think, to bribe them. So we may just... Might go in there with, like, overwhelming superior force. Uh, it's going to cost less. Let's let's keep it up. Okay. I almost knew Aragon was going to attack. It's like every time I play the English... Well, they're, they're just aggressive in general. It seems like whenever I'm near them, it's not anybody else. It's like they're just like on full aggression. I guess I don't blame them because uh, they have they don't have a lot of territory, so they do have to sort of get going. But uh, that that was that was a pain. I was you know they just destroyed Navarre, but uh, that, that's fine. We, we'll go to war with them. We were gonna go to we had to fight them anyway, so why not get it over? Um, what are we doing here? Okay. Let's hand the governorship to this guy. There we go. Okay. Did I lose the governor? Was it this guy who was a governor? Yeah, he's the Duke of Normandy. Okay. Uh, well, I don't... Anyways, okay. I don't know if he's got to be here to keep those revenues up. I, I forget. Anyways, um, let's also hand off the governorship to this guy here. Okay. And this is good. All right, so let's keep building the king's army. Profits are okay. Uh, but I don't want to not build the army, so... We're definitely getting a lot of insufficient funds. It is what it is. Um, let's build a keep here. And let's also... That's only going to take eight turns, but I do want to keep the revenue going too. But I do want to also get some better units, so... We'll do a keep. Uh, let's get that... How much is that going to cost? Okay, well, it is what it is. Um, but we got to keep up the... I guess I, we got to get we got to get the Aragon neutralized quick. And I think we can do that. Oh, good. Oh, too bad for you. A rebellion. How how terrible. Okay, well, let's let's keep getting our armies built up. We lost. That guy went down a rank because he what? Because he lost. How, how come he's down a rank? I don't know. Um. But anyways, we're still continuing on here. Okay. Good. Should we take a run at these guys? Yeah, let's do it. We got it. We got to get whales. That that's like a given. I mean, English would never allow whales to be independent. No, 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 no. Nobody's going to be independent. That's not the way it works. I know they hate the English, but no. Okay, so we got control of those guys. Uh, let's send... Let's build a peasant. A couple peasants, and we'll, we'll send them over to Wales. We'll keep the army here for a minute. Meanwhile, we'll, we'll, we'll send this... We'll keep building up here. You know what? Let, let's hold off on that. Oh, no, you know what? A couple more units. The king's army, he lost some men, so... Let's, let's, uh, oh, we can tax the hell. Good. Okay. Uh, let's, let's immediately get some revenue going. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. All right. So the only real conflict we got going on is Aragon. Did we resolve it? Yes. They're neutral again. So let's go back, 
retake Navarre, and we're just gonna keep, we're gonna keep causing, we're gonna just build up these forces as quickly as possible. Of course, France is getting powerful by the day. We got our, okay, so we're, All right, well, let's, let's go ahead and take that marriage with the Spanish. That's fine. Um, so let's keep building up here. And let, let's put the governor in, I call him governors. Uh, well, I think they are the governor in a way. Oh, well, okay, fine. So he's a Duke of Aquitaine, but yeah, I just call him the governor. Um, and let's, let's put him in charge. And so we've got some pretty good loyalty. We got to start building the VAR up again. Watchtower. Let's get that whole thing going. And we are actively building stuff. Okay. So we've got a very loyal unit here. Let's send him over here. See what happens if we move this. Not good, but that's fine. Let's just cut taxes because I want the king's army back here. We're going to stop building for a moment because we're more worried about the south. Wow, the Sicilians are already up here. Okay, well, it makes sense. They're a maritime empire. Um, how are we doing in North Umbria? We're doing good. Okay, so everybody's building. Everybody's taxing. Army's getting built. It's not a bad start. It's not a great start. Here comes Aragon again. Ugh. Yes. We will help. Them. I mean, you get neutral with them and they just attack you right away. But that's fine. You know what? That actually worked out because we won it and what I'd like to do Let's actually build some, some fodder here units to send down here. Okay, so this is the problem, Aragon. Like I said, they're just like so warlike. And again, I don't blame them. I mean, you're sitting there with nothing. You got nothing down there going. We don't even have enough to build this. Let's go for the keep, because that's gonna be cheaper for now. And here, let's go for here. We're really running short on funds in a big time way. So Mersh is good. This, we can start to increase the taxes a little bit. And let's give this guy the governorship. And we can, we're gonna take a little risk and get those taxes up because we need to increase our profit margins, which are getting better. Not so bad. Okay. Egyptians have the strongest army. We've got some... We're going to hit that insufficient funds for a while. I get it. Um... All right, so let's send some fodder down here. Love fodder. Nothing better than having fodder. And uh, we're going to have to take out Aragon because they're just... Uh, that's probably going to cause some problems with the Pope, but... Uh, eh. We'll take care of him too. We will deal with him someday. But I uh, let's let's see. So we've got the Scots up there, kind of sitting around. We'll deal with them. I wonder if we can just bribe them. But I need another. Em you know what I do need? I need another emissary. Okay. Oh boy, I saw that. I don't know if you saw it. I did. The Spanish came in and took air. Okay. So, once again, we lost our general. Who's this guy in charge of the Duke of Normandy? I think what we're going to do here is keep this guy here and we're going to. No, you know what? We're, we're not going to do that. We're just gonna... Let's try to get a keep. Oh, you know what? No, let's go the 40%. Then we'll go the keep. Okay. Got to keep the profits going. 
little disturbed by the ranking of that. Uh, I don't have any assassins yet. I'd love to assassinate them, but it's really hard to assassinate generals anyways. Two of your allies have engaged in conflicts. You can, I knew it was going to be the Germans and the French, of course. Um, hmm. This represents an opportunity. So we are... Do you wish to... Yes, let's remain allied with the Germans. That might be a mistake. But let's keep building our forces, and we might be able to capture... Now, we're not enemies with the... We're just neutral on them. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so... Um, what's the profits at? 1742. Time to start building more troops. And all we got really going is these spearmen. But they're good early on. But now that they're in a war, let's just see how this plays out. We'll be patient. Be a little patient here. They used to like say, hey, let's go on the attack right away. Let's go attack those damn French. But no, we're not going to attack the damn French. Let's just see how this plays out before we get it. The Spanish are excommunicated by the Pope. You're out of here. Okay. Um, you know, I think we're going to keep these guys. So the French have... Oh. We got that finished. All right, so first thing we want to do is start to get these things up. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's... That's only going to take six years. I do need... Ah, this is tough. Let's go. Yeah, let, let's just... Let's get these things going. Because I definitely want to get the, the workshop. And then we'll get a... Okay, so that was good. Um... All right, things are looking up here. All right, so we've got to continue building our forces. Definitely, the, it looks like the French are going to be uh, the first major conflict. But I want to keep up the armies no matter what. We can always, you know, we can always use these guys as commanders. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep pushing, 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 pushing. We're on a mission. For what? I have no idea, but... Okay. So, uh, current situation. Got some fairly sizable armies around us. This, this one's disconcerting, because it's got the king's army there. So we gotta get this... Almost tempted to hold off building units so we can get that armor rating on them. So let's do that for a bit. That might actually make the difference. Of course, those armies are kind of weak. They're just filled with peasants. They're not really tough armies looking at them. So even the Spanish army is kind of wimpy. But uh, let's just keep building. Let's get another, some more revenue going. And I'd love to, to get that going. Let's, let's just hold off for a little bit here. See if we can build up a little bit of revenue. Just for a little bit. I'd like to hold off just for a second. Be a little patient. It's difficult. You know, you want to be impatient. But, you know, the English had a lot of time on that island to think about things. And it uh, certainly worked out for them. It worked out for them until that United States came along and sort of stole some of their thunder. That's the way it works. Got your empire and then it all falls apart. Well, it didn't really fall apart. Uh, England's still a, still a major player in the world. But... Uh, you know what I'm saying. Of course, it's all kind of one and the same now, right? You got NATO, I mean. Okay, so. Um, what are we doing over here? Let's get, this is relatively secure. That Sicilian boat's just kind of lingering there. Gotta watch that though. Sometimes, you know, they, they, uh, they get enough boats, they string them, they can do, uh, 
the sea invasion. And it can, uh, that's caught me a couple of times I've played this game. You know, you're, 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 you got all your troops at, at the forward positions and front lines, and all of a sudden they, uh, they sneak around. Uh, so I, I, I pay attention to the Navy too. I, when I first started playing, I wasn't paying much attention to the Navy. And, nope. Not going to do the Napoleon thing. We're going to be, uh, we're going to have a, an army. Okay, so um, what do we got? We've got to build. We're still a little bit low on the funds. Well, they're starting to build up here. Uh, the metal guy finished. Okay, so how long is this going to take to build? Four years. All right. Um, we still got to produce some things here. Let's let's just. Okay. So business teams usually they do. They might get out of control. We'll deal with them someday if we're still around. Um, still, still, uh, still not going to build some units. We're going to hold off here a little bit, just because I want to get some of these things built out. Let's go a church there. We do definitely need to get some of these things built out. The 80% wheat is always a problem because it costs so much damn money. And, uh, well, everything costs money. Yep. Want to do something? Want to build something nice for your people? It's going to cost you some cash. Um, so, I want to see this one get kicked off here. What are we at? We're at we're, we've got a very good positive. I'm trying to see if this will get kicked off. We get enough money for this. Still don't. But once we do, we'll start to... Let's just see if that gets... I think it'll make it now. Let's see. Come on, Northumbria. Okay, so it gets kicked off. Good. Okay. So that's going to cost a little bit of money. These gold mines and silver mines are fundamental. That one's kicked off. Let's build a keep there while we're waiting. Don't want to waste too much. You know, I don't like to just have them doing nothing. Um, okay. So we can actually, let's just get a couple more of these going. Then we'll start to rebuild our armies. King of England died. Oh my gosh. He's dead. The king is dead. Let's accept it. Um, the king has died. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. He's loyal. He's loyal. Good. Do we have an alliance with... You're right. Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure. Um... Okay, the king has died. Let's check this guy's loyalty. Not good. Do we have a princess? Oh, gosh. All right, well, let's put him in charge here so everybody's loyal. This is really bad. Um, just got a bunch of unloyal people, but let's use the governor. If I can, why can't I select the governor? That was a pain. Okay, so the governor will keep control of that army. What's going on here? Okay, good. These governors are so loyal. Good. Disloyal. No princes is to make them unloyal. Or more loyal. What did I say unloyal for? Okay. Okay, well, um, yeah. I don't know what to say. Okay. Probably need to start the armies up again here, but let's let's just get this thing built up a little bit. And then we're gonna go on a tear. Here we go. Here we go. French and Germans. Yeah. Let's let's stay allied with Germany. Oh, they took. So they took E de France. Um, that's that's a problem. Okay. So now here we go. All right, so let's start building up some forces. We've oh, we've got feudal sergeants. Look out, that's game over for somebody. Um, <laughs> shouldn't be so uh, cocky. Um, hmm. So we could. 
We need some more troops. We need another full army down here. Because we gotta imagine, unless let's just let's just build up some forces here. Let's let's build up some forces because this is obviously. See what okay, so France is gonna get weakened. That's good. That's really good. Okay. I don't want to risk. How old is this guy? Forty-four. This guy's seventeen. Let's let's put the seventeen-year-old. So I don't want to risk him. Forty-four-year-old guy not as concerned about. All right, we're gonna take what amounts to here a major risk. This could go really bad. Or it could go really good. Um. And then we are going to continue. We're allied with the Spanish. Let's let's do this. This is a threat, of course. We're going to attack up here with a lot of forces. So we're going to try to take. I actually think Toulouse is more important, but I don't want these guys. Sit, this army is fairly sizable. So we're going to do an attack here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Hopefully the Germans don't. You know, the problem is if I linger, the Germans are just going to overrun all of them. And they're going to be an unbeatable empire at that point. And we're just not going to let that happen. Okay, so we're going to go. We got a, did we get a three star? Okay, we don't have to risk our, hopefully he's somewhat loyal. If he's not, we're going to marry him off. Oh, let's keep the, let's keep that guy there. Wait, I probably should have checked his loyalty. It's pretty good. So... This guy's not pretty good. Let's let's get the princess married to him. All right, here we go. Boom. Okay. Uh, massive strikes. We're going in here. Okay, here we go. French are on notice. Surprise attack. The Blitzkrieg. Oh, he took Brittany. Okay, so we hold, and we really hold it. Let's immediately start sending forces over there. Uh, we took Brittany. We got to maintain a siege there. All right, so we've got some forces. We got to immediately get some of these guys out of here. So we put the losers here. Yeah. Let's let them... Actually, let's, let's leave... Let's let's leave one army there. Let's see. I don't want this to be a rebellion. Okay, so we got it there. Let's just maintain the siege there. And generals here. Let's let's bulk up this one and put this. Yeah. Okay, that's a good spread. Let's keep. All right, let's, uh, you know, I always, a lot of times when I'm playing, I always forget to manage the the provinces, but let's, 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 uh, let's not forget that, that we do have to keep things, keep things under construction. Let's do a church there. Okay, here we go. I'm sure the French are going to launch a counterattack. And they did. They come in, uh... I think we're gonna handle that. The Pope, yeah. See here, we're gonna we're, we're probably heading to an excommunication scenario here. Um, but it is what it is. How's this province? Not good. Um, all right, let's see. They still have some sizable, sizable army. What's that army made of? Not, not too terrible. Uh, that's a problem down here. There's a chance of rebellion. Let's send a unit down here to sort of manage that situation. How long is that siege going to take? About to fall. Good. Okay. So this, I don't know if we can hold out here, but let's 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 try. Let's no, you know what? We're keep this. This guy's going to get some units. Okay. How are we here? Or not great. Forces are spread thin for sure, um, but good news is um, 
we're in pretty good shape. All right, here we go. It's a victory. And Brittany has fallen. And we got to do a little pillaging. All good. Uh, wow. That's really not good. Let's, um, this guy is actually, we got a general here. Okay, that's good. Um, let's give this guy the governorship. And French are pushed back into here. Huge threat. So definitely have to send. Who can we send? Let's see if we can send these guys. What's the? Okay, so that's good. We got got some forces there, and we hold Flanders. That's good. Okay, so Flanders is in good shape. Let's start working on Flanders. And let's start to. We got to get a port. Uh, we gotta get some boats going too here. Okay, well, this is a good start. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.